I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 692. This may be the most surprising story I've ever done on Geek Brief. If you pay for shipping, NASA will send you a spare space shuttle engine. NASA tried to sell the engines of shuttles whose lives are over for between $400,000 and $800,000, but no one needed them at that price, so now they're free. The free engines would probably be worth the shipping cost for anyone who purchases one of the shuttles themselves for half price, $28.8 million. Cupertino took as long as they pleased to update Boot Camp for the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 7, but now it's done. Boot Camp version 3.1 improves issues that existed between Apple hardware and Windows 2. They improved trackpad functionality, added support for my favorite wireless keyboard, and the new Magic Mouse. Apple also released late 2009 Windows 7 drivers. Lots of things make me miss my stolen 5D Mark II, and here's a whole new reason. Silicon Power is announcing a 128GB 400x compact flash card. It has write speeds of 90 megabytes per second. It's ideal for pro shooters using their DSLRs to capture HD video. In addition to the 128GB version, the company is also making the fast cards available in 64GB, 32GB, 16GB, and 8GB versions. Unfortunately, we don't know when they're going to be available. When you went to go see Avatar, I bet the first thing that popped into your mind was how much you'd like to look like the Navis. Am I right? Over the weekend, Quick's video camera app was updated for your iPhone 2G and 3G users, so now you can! The update includes real-time effects like Avatar mode, black and white, mirror, and red effect. It'll also record 15 frames per second and allows you to zoom and record in landscape mode. It's 99 cents in the App Store. This certainly won't offer the element of surprise, but it's pretty darn cool. Martin Aircraft Company wants their product, the Martin Jetpack, to be the world's easiest aircraft to fly. And get this, it doesn't even require a pilot's license since it qualifies for the FAA's ultralight classification. You can go 31 and a half miles and 8,000 feet high. It'll cost around $100,000 later this year, but since you get a ballistic parachute included, I think it's totally worth it. I'll wrap up today's brief with a bit of news from the Twitter world. Bill Gates has joined and seems to be happily tweeting away. You can follow him at Bill Gates. Also, if you had to settle for a Twitter username because the one you wanted was already taken, keep an eye open because they're about to get rid of a ton of inactive Twitter accounts, which means your desired username could be opening up, but you're going to have to pounce on it. I'll tweet more information when we find out when this will take effect. Twitter.com slash Callie Lewis. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!